weather's inclement. You know what that means. So apologies for the noise in the background on this video. I'm printing a Groot, or whatever I think it's called. I am Groot. Um, so we're going to have a lot of that noise. All right. And what I have decided to do is increase the number of plates on this um, capacitor to obviously increase its capacitance because without connecting the the center um, it's about five or six puff uh, short of uh, reaching the 80 meter band so the one way of getting around that of course is to increase the number of plates. Now I've got about seven or eight ad additional plates um, which I've made um, so I'm going to attempt to uh, to increase it. I've bought some new um, threaded bar so my job today uh, should I wish to uh, accept it my mission is to increase the capacitance Anyway, let's get on. So about ten and a half is the uh, 
best we get. Well, the capacitor works really, really well. Um, the only downside is uh, because it's got such a, um, a high bandwidth, if you like, a lot of capacitance from 10 uh, through to 150 picofarads, uh, the adjustment on it is so fine um, that it makes it really unusable, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the motor I've got only turns at uh, three revolutions per minute, uh, but even that is too fast for the, um, the capacitor. Um, and because of the amount of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, whatever the wording is, I don't know. Anyway, so what I've decided to do now uh, is actually the opposite. I'm going to reduce the number of plates uh, to around about uh, 10 or 12 um, to reduce its capacitance. And then what I'll do is make a couple of trombones uh, capacitors to add into it to switch it from the 40 meter band to the 80 meter band. Uh, this will allow me to um, have a little bit more control over the amount of capacitance um, that I'm throwing at the, uh, the loop. Anyway, so stick with it and uh, we'll create those now. In the previous video, we know that this particular trombone capacitor is a hundred puff, okay? hundred picofarads. And we need to make a hundred and fifty picofarad trombone. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is make it longer okay we could make it longer so what i need to do is measure that and work out the the length compared to the the picofarads uh, and then turn basically make two trombones to equal 150 picofarad the reason for it is because i've decided that instead of trying to make a capacitor that will do the entire um 40 through to 80 meters because the capacitor is starting to get, you know, immensely big and, and um, pretty pointless. Um, I think it'd probably be easier to make the capacitor smaller, um, you know, a 10, perhaps 12 fin capacitor. Uh, and by fins, I mean the, the, uh, the, um, the plates. Um, and to then add capacitors that we can switch in that will change the, uh, the overall capacitance. Um, so that we can switch bands using capacitors and then the actual um, variable capacitor could be the, the fine tuning part, if you like. So that's the idea behind it. Um, so what I want to do is measure this, find out exactly how long it is, uh, and then that way we can, it's 30, no, it's not. It is 29. Oh, okay. Um, 29 gives us 100. Um, so 15 would give us 50 or thereabouts so i need two at 20 don't i um two at 20 centimeters that will give us around 150 yeah we'll go with that so i'll cut two 20 centimeter capacitors um and we'll build build them like that so here we go we've got two 22 mil uh, lengths of um, two 20 centimeter lengths of 22 millimeter pipe um, and one 40 meter 40 centimeter length of 15 millimeter pipe and a length of conduit now this um, happily goes inside um, like so and we can just tap it through and it will pass through quite happily if I manage to get it in that is um, easier said than done sometimes there we go so as you can see we've now got a, a reasonable overlay of um, oh goodness gracious me conduit so that uh, we don't uh, get any flashovers uh, but we won't we don't want to put that in yet because we need to to um to solder it uh, first so i'll just get it out again in a moment um but that's the idea and this will then slot inside 
as you can see it rattles so we need to put uh, um, a join on it to uh, stop it from rattling so bear with another surprise find uh, is that uh, if you put straight end fed pipe connectors on uh, it just so happens that it's exactly the same size as the inside of our of our conduit which means no rattle so that's what we'll do anyway i'll prepare all this like solder it all up and then you'll see me put it together Gentle persuasion. So if you take the burr off the uh, the cut, it slips in quite happily. Need a little bit of an overlap on each end to stop any possibility of flash over. Okay. Just literally go inside. Gentle push, like so. Right. Well, here they are, back in the kitchen. Now um, covered with um, shrink wrap so that they can't earth out against anything. Uh, our capacitors uh, have been um, completed. We just have to put them in parallel now on a single flex so that I can connect them to the bottom of the capacitor, which is what I'm about to do. I've forgotten how difficult it was to do behind the camera. And the flickering is caused by the LED um, lights on the on the um, solder nine, so I apologise. For those, right. It's easy. Marvelous. One thing that was noticed by uh, a guy out there in YouTube land, which I am very, very grateful for. So thank you for that was that this capacitor would probably fit inside of some Hepworth pipe. Now, I happen to acquire a little bit of Hepworth pipe. This is 110 in diameter. And uh, look at this. It does indeed fit with a little bit of wiggle that will fit over it. So uh, guess what? That's our waterproofing solution. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, yeah, it works. Anyway. Okay, so we need a lid. Now you can buy some end caps on uh, the internet um, from places like um, Juicens in the UK or perhaps Home Depot in America or, 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 or the alike. Um, but uh, I'm going to print mine.
problema. Brilliant. Behold the splendor. Anyway, look, I've got a capacitor pot. <laughs> Waterproof and two sticks of no. They're actually uh, trombone capacitors um, because what I've decided to do is reduce the size of the capacitor and then um, load um, the capacitor with two set capacitor amounts and then I can switch it and before anyone starts screaming and shouting it's a QRP at the moment of uh, this is experiment and I can switch it from 40 to 80 meters simple as that okay Oh, that's on 80 meters. Look at that, one to one. On my twin loop for 80 meters. All we have to do now is see if the band's open uh, for me. And if it is, then we'll see if it works. But this is going to be a um, low wattage, probably no more than 100. Due to the uh, the size of the wiring it's only uh, one uh, 1.5 mil uh, wire so it should be man enough in theory but uh, yeah anyway we'll we'll give it a go um, Yes, you've got a break station. It's Mike Zero, Mike Zero November. Mike Zero, Mike something, sorry. <laughs> it's not a problem. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November, M Zero, MSN. Name here is Mike, I'm in Gloucester. Uh, SM, yeah, right. I think I spoke to you on two meters some time back. You passing through. And you, you, you made in my group, is that right? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And I think we have spoken before um, when I was travelling back from um, North Birmingham um, back down to Gloucester. Yes, I think we've spoke on two metres. Um, and yes, I've made a magnetic loop, a twin magnetic loop, and I'm just testing it, if you'd be so kind. Yes, I do remember you, Mike. Yes, I do remember you. I did, uh, I, I have looked at your version too, and the magnetic loop. 